what what do you think is the biggest thing that you've seen? Obviously, um, with the refugee and I mean, a lot of us can't even comprehend of what they've been through, like you said earlier. They come in with that kind of uh, motivation behind them and perspective and everything like that. Um, I'm sure appreciation is probably huge. What do you think is like the biggest thing that they just like right away, man, they really they really bring this to America. They really bring this 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 energy. What what do you think that is? You know, is it is it just a perspective? Is it because like you said, a lot of the time, you know, they need that jumping off point, whether it be living and stuff like that, that you guys help provide and in, in, uh, language and things like that. But they they must be offering something. So and nobody can go through that kind of perspective and that kind of. Uh, uh, motivation and not just come ready for something. You know what I mean? Perspective is is a good word. I think uh, entrepreneurship is is a good word. I mean, there's a much larger percentage of refugees and immigrants who start businesses than native born people. Hmm. Uh, they're the people with uh, the gumption and the ideas and the, the things that go on. Right. The other thing that I think of when you're you know, you know what do they bring? Um, we had an, an Afghan refugee who came through the special immigrant visa process. He he worked as a medic. Uh, he was a trained doctor in Afghanistan, mm-hmm. worked for the U.S. Uh, uh, military there, uh-huh. and actually performed an emergency appendectomy on a U.S. soldier, saved the kid's life really? over there. When he arrived here, um, he couldn't practice medicine <laughs> because he doesn't have a— doctor's license uh, right. to practice here. His first job is working at a t-shirt factory. Wow. Uh, you know, the uh, silk screening and right. putting t-shirts together. Slightly overqualified. Bending over a table yeah. doing this stuff. <laughs> and, so we, and, and then he shows up at our office a couple months later with this. This, this is not unusual. Uh, refugees bring us lunch. Really? Um, they cook up this great meal for us and they come in and plop it down on our break table and we're all like so humbled that they're right and here so here's a doctor working in a t-shirt factory and showing his gratitude to us i mean that that just illustrates to me what some of these people bring right um recently one of my staff told me that this guy is now working in a program where he's he's trying to get back into the medical field he's taking some classes he's working Probably like a certified nursing assistant position right now, but at least is in the medical Just, field. Yeah, get his foot in and the door. And he's um, taking classes and trying to get certified. So, um, but bringing the energy and the desire and the drive to take care of your family like that—it's it's a beautiful thing. 